Welcome to Unseen Reviewers, your go-to channel for in-depth and insightful book reviews. Here we're not just about the surface, we dig deep, exploring the layers of words, the weight of each sentence, and the power of narratives. From timeless classics to modern literature, we take the plunge into the minds of authors and their stories. We offer a unique approach, a fresh perspective, to help you see beyond the ink and paper. Today, we delve into the world of Brandon Hobson and his masterpiece, The Removed. In The Removed, Brandon Hobson weaves a tale that's both hauntingly familiar and eerily otherworldly. Set in the backdrop of modern-day Oklahoma, the story breathes life into the Akota family, a Cherokee family grappling with the loss of their son, Ray Ray, who was tragically killed in a police shooting. The narrative unfolds from multiple perspectives, each family member's viewpoint adding a new layer to the complex tapestry of their shared grief. As they prepare for their annual bonfire ceremony, a tradition to honor their ancestors, they find themselves grappling with their personal demons, their past, and their cultural heritage. Hobson's narrative seamlessly blends the painful realities of contemporary issues such as racial injustice and mental health with the mystical elements of Cherokee folklore. The removed spirits of the ancestors often blur the lines between the living and the dead, the past and the present, making this book a poignant exploration of grief, identity, and the enduring power of family ties. Now let's dive deeper into the book and explore its layers. The Removed by Brandon Hobson is an intricate tapestry woven with threads of grief, resilience, and heritage. The novel deals with the Ekota family grappling with the loss of their son, Ray Ray, who was shot by the police. This profound exploration of grief is so palpable that it resonates with the reader, making them part of the Ekota family's journey. One of the book's standout features is its use of multiple perspectives. This allows us to delve into the minds of each family member, Maria, Ernest, Sonia, and Edgar, each of whom are dealing with their grief in their own unique way. This narrative style not only adds depth to the characters, but also provides a comprehensive view of their shared sorrow. What sets the removed apart is its seamless incorporation of Cherokee folklore. The author, himself a member of the Cherokee Nation, beautifully blends these stories into the narrative, creating a magical realism that is both compelling and enlightening. These elements of folklore serve as a bridge to the past, connecting the Akotas to their ancestors and their culture. Now let's talk about the author's writing style. Hobson's prose is elegant yet straightforward, making the story accessible to a wide range of readers. His ability to portray the complexities of human emotion is truly remarkable. Whether it's the parents' lingering guilt, Edgar's struggle with his identity, or Sonia's desperate attempts to cope, Hobson captures each emotion with striking authenticity. The character's development throughout the novel is another noteworthy aspect. Each character undergoes a transformation, shaped by their grief and their interactions with each other. Their individual arcs are beautifully intertwined, culminating in a poignant conclusion that underscores the power of family and heritage. The Removed, in its essence, is a tale that, that beautifully intertwines the ordinary with the extraordinary. As we wrap up our review, it's clear that The Removed is a book that leaves a lasting impression. Its intricate blend of modernity and tradition, reality and the supernatural, makes it a unique addition to the realm of contemporary literature. Brandon Hobson's writing style is both evocative and nuanced, painting vivid images that linger long after the final page is turned. The narrative is a poignant exploration of family, grief, and identity grounded in Cherokee lore and mythology. It's a testament to the power of storytelling, how it can serve as a bridge between generations, cultures, and experiences. The characters, each with their own distinct voice and journey, draw us into their world, making us feel their pain, joy, hopes, and fears. But the beauty of literature is its subjectivity. What resonates with one reader might not resonate with another, and that's the magic of it all. The Removed may be a powerful tale of loss and resilience in my eyes, but it could be an entirely different story in yours. So I encourage you, dear listeners, to dive into the pages of The Removed. Experience the world through the eyes of the Ikota family, 
allow their stories to wash over you, to challenge you, to change you. And then let's talk about it. What are your thoughts on The Removed? Do you agree with our review or do you have a different perspective? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's continue the conversation.